So one of the questions I always get is, should I be paying this collection agency? What should I do about these student loans? Can I get this bankruptcy off my credit report? What can I do about this eviction? This re repossession is hurting my credit, credit score. How can I get it removed? Like I get a ton of, ton of, tons of questions. So I'm about to break it down to you on how to do anything when it comes to your credit report. You already know what time it is. Let's get right into it. So on today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down what you should be doing about a collection, what you should do about evictions, what you should do about a bankruptcy, all the things you need to do, right? I'm gonna break everything down. But before I give you this game, I need you to smash the like button, smash it one time for me, and make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm giving you game every single day. I'm dropping game for you. Before you pay anybody, before you can do anything when it comes to disputing, make sure you look at your credit report, right? Make sure you're looking at Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. Don't look at Credit Karma because Credit Karma only gives you two um, boroughs to actually look at. Look at all three and make sure you're looking at one that gives you enough information to actually dispute anything off of your credit report. But most people are looking at the wrong information and you need the right information to get anything removed off your credit report so you can set them up and get the account removed. But before you pay a collection, right, make sure you they can actually validate that collection is yours, right? Who say it is yours? Maybe it's not, maybe it is. But what you wanna do is make sure you make them validate the debt, right? Make sure you put the ownership on them so they gotta send you proof, but you know, it's not real proof. So get that account removed before you pay anybody, right? Get the account deleted, make sure you use the laws as in your favor to get the debt collectors and the credit bureau set up. So I'll show you that in the video, and I'm gonna break it down to you in this video right here if you watch it step by step. If you have a bankruptcy, that bankruptcy does not supposed, that bankruptcy is not supposed to be on your credit report. So yes, 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 you can get it removed before the seven year, 10 year mark, right? If you have an eviction on your credit report, you can get that deleted off your credit report as well. All you gotta do is watch this video right here, Another video and I'll break it down step by step by step on how to remove anything off your credit report. The same thing for a collection, the same thing for a repossession, same thing for any account, any account, a student loan. Only time you should um, remove a student loan if, only if they have negative accounts, um, negative payments on your credit report, right? Only time you should remove a student loan. If it's helping your credit report out, why would you move it? So keep it on your credit report because it's actually a good account and it's actually helping you. Most people tell you to remove it all, but why would you remove it if it's helping your credit report? You're gonna remove all that age, you're gonna basically sacrifice all that. Don't remove a student loan off your credit report if it's actually helping you out. So before you do anything, actually check your credit report and see what's really going on. You listen to this person, you listen to that person, you listen to a Facebook group, you listen to all these different people telling you the wrong information. Make sure you look at your credit report, see if it's actually helping you, see if you got on-time payments, see if you can actually set up a um, payment plan, a repayment plan, that's um, income driven to actually be $5, $10 a month. This is some of the information you need to know because most people are telling you the wrong thing, but the account is might, might be in good standards actually helping you out on your credit report. So make sure you do that. A bankruptcy charge off collection, dispute it off your credit report, get it removed. And if you need help, watch this video right here and I'll show you step by step on how to do it. Thank you for watching this video and I'm gonna give you more game. I'm gonna show you actually how to write multiple dispute letters to get anything removed off your credit report. Stay tuned.